Hi, everybody. Hey, welcome back to Good Day on this Friday morning. We're hanging out with the uh, the roast master and the guy who looks like he could be a roadie for a rock and roll band. But in <laughs> fact, these are comedians. It's Tony Hinchcliffe, and that is Jeremiah Watkins. Good morning. How are you guys doing? Good morning Thank to you. you. It's good to be here back in Sacramento. Yeah, you're back. You've got shows at the Punchline yeah. uh, throughout the weekend. What, yeah. Two tonight, two tomorrow? Yep. Right? Making yep. your way on through. And then Sunday could be a game changer for both of you. Yes. Right? You just found out about this, what, maybe about 24 hours ago that it's coming up? Well, uh, we've known about it for a little bit, right, but, but yeah, we just got uh, just got word that we were on uh, ESPN uh, throughout the night. Where uh, we were on Sports Center, living the dream, because our episode of HBO's Crashing is coming out Sunday night. So what? What was the tie-in? Why was it on Sports Center? Is just is it? A they were doing a little cross promotion thing. It was oh. so cool. So I never thought of all the mornings being fake sick uh, <laughs> through school and through high school, watching Sports Center episodes over and over again, that I'd be on it. Right. So I'm pretty. Pretty excited about it that maybe out there there was some little kid faking being sick from school that was watching me. You can meddle in that. Yeah. You can meddle in that. You could totally get a letter in that. Yeah. So okay, now you guys are both comedians, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, so you obviously got your show coming up, and you're very popular because you you write a lot for the the roast on Comedy Central. Yes. I kind of wondered about the science behind that because that's kind of delicate to me because you've yeah. got to go all in, but yeah. then there's still a line that if you cross it. You're going to have to meet somebody in the parking lot. Yeah, maybe. The whole trick to it is trying to make it funny. You know, if you can make the person laugh at a joke about themselves, then you did a good job. The ones you got to look out for is when you make a joke and the person just stares right back at you mm -hmm. and closes their eyes a little <laughs> bit like that. That's just sizing phase. you up. That, after that, I just run. There is no parking lot for me. I run straight out of there. They'll never see me. Now, the thing about this is uh, Tony says that you are an up-and-comer. Jeremiah. I am, yeah. Is that right? I'm the biggest up and comer there is, yeah. yeah. You were telling me before you're from Kansas, right? Yeah. Did you I start am. stand up in Kansas or you start, wait till you got to LA to start? Oh, no, I waited till Los Angeles. Yeah, I, I knew that you had to start out there. What, what brought you, what made you come from Kansas to Los Angeles? For the comedy, to become an up and comer like Tony says I am. <laughs> He's at a different level. Did you notice he got a dig in on me right before we started this what? interview? What was Looking it? like a roadie for uh, some band. <laughs> That's not a dig. That's just riffing, man. You, you look surprised to see that the ghost of Kurt Cobain is live here in the flesh. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, he's on a different level than me. Me, I make a little more money, you know, I'm spending more money. You know, it's a different level. Like the other day, I got the fancy salt from the grocery store for the first time. You ever see that fancy? What is the fancy salt? What is, what is like a, I was at Whole Foods, there's like a $35 well, thing of salt. $35. It was unbelievable. I'm like, what is this salt? It said it was Himalayan salt, 100,000 years oh, that's old. That's good stuff. I took it home, 100,000 year old salt. I took it home. Look at the expiration date, June. <laughs> I cannot win. This is a salty situation. Salt and bacon. Stop it, Tony. <laughs> but that is good stuff. Though. The Himalayan salt, that's top yeah. notch, man. It was. It definitely tasted better. It was nothing like the peasant salt that I'm used to. <laughs> yeah. Oof. <laughs> Domestic stuff. Yeah. Who's got time for that? Come on, iodized salt. Get out of here. Come on. Come on. <laughs> so we got you in the entire weekend. Yeah. Uh, we're going to maybe get you to come back and do a set uh, in Sacramento? He's I'm actually with him. You're going to open tonight? Yeah. yeah, I'm featuring. I'm in the middle. Yeah. This is like, you know, he's probably, by the way, he's like a modern day Jim Carrey. He's absolutely hilarious. This is one of those shows where getting to see both of us, it's like, uh, you know, like back when like Jimi Hendrix used to open up for the doors, you know what I mean? Like before. <laughs> People knew who Hendrix was. It's I'm, I'm exactly Hendrix. like that. Oh, he's the Hendrix. And I'm yeah. the Doors. And you're I'm like Jim boring, okay. you know, yeah. plain. I don't know if the Doors aren't really that boring and plain, but this guy's a freak. And so the fact that you get to see both of us in Sacramento. That's huge right there. That's huge. You're such a giver, Tony. I am. That's what I like to do. It's better to give than to receive. And, you know, that's, that's why I, I come here at Good Day Sack and, you know, live the good life. Yes, you are. We appreciate you coming through so early, man. It's Thank my you so pleasure. Much. And thanks for coming through as well, man. We appreciate it. Thank you so I much for having me. Before, and I'm, nice to meet you. I, I've met you before. That's weird. Wow. Yeah. It totally <laughs> slipped my mind. Yeah. I'm, I'm a horrible person. Hey, uh, information on these guys in the show coming up this weekend, the punchline. <laughs> it's on our website at gooddaysacramento.com. Mary, I'm back to you. I, uh, roast writing is an art. You, oh, man. Oh, right? Tread delicately. Tread delicately. <laughs> He's